<coughs> trying to invite some people right quick, man. Trying to get it in on a Tuesday. Why they got all this shut down? See if they regulate me. They trying to regulate my page, man. I'm about to just come on here. All right, I'm gonna name invite a couple more people. Get this thing cracky, cracky lacky. Just right quick. Um, I'm inviting people, man. Can't nobody say I don't do that shit. I be inviting people, yo. I know a lot of people at the crib. All right, that's cool. What up, though? It's your boy J. Scott. I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas. Look, the haters in the building already. <clears throat> Look, man, I'm just going to try to, like, you know, keep this thing, you know. <clears throat> By now, everybody knows what's going down out here. Some bullshit. But you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the internet is popping. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is popping. You got DJs on Instagram doing a hundred thousand people viewing and shit like that, man. And these celebrities ain't really coming out saying nothing about what to do and how we should mobilize and stuff like that. You know, still can't find no goddamn toilet paper on on a consistent basis. They passing, they passing this shit out at Walmart now. They passing it out now. They, they just, you need some toilet paper? Here, here you go. Here's the last one. Like, it's the last one? I had to, I had to have my, I had to have my mama send me some toilet paper, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I had to have my mama send me some toilet paper, nigga. That's how bad it was, baby. But it's like, man, yo, that's why I titled some of this. Yo, you can't, we, we gotta, we gotta be at a, at a, look, man, I'm gonna give you a perfect example on kind of what's going on with the black community and this bullshit, uh, COVID-19 or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Hey, y'all go follow, uh, Victor, you know what I'm saying? He's got a podcast, man. This shit's, this shit's on point. Um, but there's a movie. There's the movie, um, the last Purge movie. The last movie that was about the Purge. You know the Purge series. Look at that movie, man. Look at that movie. Go back and look at that movie. That movie had, first of all, in that movie they never used the term Purge. All right, they might have used it maybe once or twice, but I really didn't hear it. All right, now when it came to who they had, they used black people in this movie as the purge. But they, but they called it the experiment. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what's happening right now. We are continuously a part of this experiment, yo. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you got to be ready. This, this time right now, you know what I'm saying? It, it's supposed to help you build. You know. If you got kids, get close to them. You know what I mean? Try to show them something. Give them some game. Give them some knowledge. Try to teach them some shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be out here 
TikToking all day, and, and it's hard, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to create a TikTok account right, right when I get off on here, right? It's hard, man. I understand. This social media is, is, is completely off the chain now. You know, everybody, everybody's on it. Everybody right now. And, and see, that's the thing. They didn't shut the social media down yet. Now, what, what, they, what they could do is keep playing with people's emotions and turn this shit off just like that. They, they could Thanos this whole shit. So, you just got to be careful out here, man. Teach your kids something. If you spending time, if you working from home, man, get something, you know, going with your kids. What up, though? Beverly Moore Ruffin. Get this popping with your kids, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Get this popping with your kids. You got nephews, nieces, any family. You know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah, they shutting down and they locking down a lot of these places, a lot of these cities. And yeah, you know, you got to understand, man, it was like a, a big ass earthquake in Utah. Ain't nobody talking about that shit. I ain't even seen that. I ain't even seen that really on my page. Can somebody tell me what what was the 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 what what did it hit on the Richter scale in Utah? Somebody let me know. If you come on in, man, if you could hit the like button, man, when you come on in for me, please just hit the like button, share this shit, drop a comment. But can somebody let me know what was the Richter scale on that earthquake that was in Utah? Can somebody let me know? Because they damn sure ain't really talking about it right now. Um, so, you know what I mean? I just want to say, you know, just be careful out here, you know, make sure that you got your supplies make sure you got you know water make sure you got just canned goods man just make sure you you loading up and stocking up on that if they allow you to do it go every day go every day for like the next maybe week you know what i mean you know you got you got uh president coming on here talking about how long it's gonna take and it's from china china <laughs> china it's from china <laughs> A China disease. China. It's from China. <laughs> Damn, boy. This nigga, his racism just keeps getting deeper. And you know what? And I ain't even tripping on the president, man. He's actually entertaining with this shit. All right. So I didn't want to spend too much time on that on that COVID nineteen. Just know that this is this is the this is what's being used. This was gonna be used against us. All right. <coughs> <clears throat> you man, that's just, come on, everybody. Yeah, cause a lot of look, man. A lot of these so-called parents, they're not really raising their kids to be. You know, they're 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 raising them because they had them. You know what I'm saying? There's no blueprint when it comes to what we're supposed to be doing as so-called parents. You know, the generation before us, which is the baby boomers, these niggas didn't really set no game plan for us. So we kind of just go, you know, and, and, and this system has been so repetitive that, you know, what I mean, this is how it's been. You know, you send your kids to school, you go to work and, and you live your life like that. Damn, some chemtrails out here, man. But you, but you, but you, that's how you've been living your life. Like it's a, it's a constant regimen of the same shit, like a robot. That's why a lot of niggas are trying to get free. That's why I've been saying and stressing for a long time on here. Go get your own job. Think about. Yeah, I never with their kids as long as they are right now. Yeah, this is the longest. This is the longest that some of these parents have been with their kids ever. I'm not talking about just on the weekend taking them. Uh, so the earthquake was 5.7. Damn, they didn't even show your profile. There's been some shit going on with this 5G shit, man. You understand? There's some shit going on. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of people that haven't even been with their kids long enough. <coughs> I'm not talking about on the weekend going to the movies. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about actually spending time with them. Talking to him, looking at him in the face and eyes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really been going down like that. I appreciate everybody coming in, man. Uh, 
But this COVID-19, just understand this is the way they're going to try to get us, man. This is this is the new warfare, man. This is, it ain't going to, now mind you, they're going to probably incorporate some type of natural disaster. It's going to be some type of, um, just like in Utah, it was an earthquake. They're going to they gonna use that heart. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to do that. So don't be surprised if, a, if they clear out a lot of these cities and then they drop some type of, uh, <coughs> natural disaster right then twilight zone well yeah, it is <coughs> but you know there's also a time right now <coughs> where we can connect even harder you understand what i'm saying we can connect even better especially on the social media you know what i'm saying like you 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 had a dj that broke records man you had a dj that and I didn't even know who the fuck DJ D Nice was, nigga. I was like, first of all, I was like DJ D Nice. I'm like, nigga, you talking about the the rapper D Nice? The the uh the rapper D Nice is a DJ now. Is is that the same nigga? Can somebody let me know? My name is D Nice. Doom 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 doom. Is that the same? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Nate, not ain't the wrong man. At least I hope it ain't, man. I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I've been battling. But see, this is the thing, though. There's no, there's no way you can get away from getting something from this corona. See, like out here in San Antonio, man, the the, the weather is so bad with the with the with the with the allergies, man. Like I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they really spraying something in the air. Like I'm, like I'm looking up right now, and I, I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing a few chemtrails in the air right now. You understand what I'm saying? Who's to say that they not pumping this corona shit out in the air, yo? Because I got asthma. Yeah, I got asthma, but it's like, yo, this respiratory shit, man. Like this, this shit is no. It's like now, mind you, you know what I mean, you gotta, you can't drink milk, you can't drink the cow juice, you can't do certain things, because it builds up pus in your body, so that's how it attacks your immune system, also, if you've been on that bullshit, alright, that's what's up, but yeah, so, you know, right now, man, you just gotta, you just gotta, just keep, just keep recognizing that you gotta, you gotta move different, you gotta move different, <coughs> and yeah, I mean, black people, <coughs> Okay, so yeah, uh you just shout her you just shout her out. You just shout her out. I'm not about to do that. That's that smokers call. Yeah, facts on that. Oh shit, oh shit, almost almost burnt my whole leg off. Y'all didn't see that though. Almost burnt my whole leg. But look, man, but look. Let me just say this, man, because I got a. <laughs> oh, shit. Because I got to move on to the thing. Almond milk. Yeah, almond milk. And this, and, and I'm telling you, man, this, this is how it's moving. It's moving. It's moving to a whole nother thing, man. You got to move different out here, man. You got to eat different. You got to live different. You can't be no Sambo coon ass nigga out here. You got to actually fight for something out here. You understand what I'm saying? You actually got to fight for for your family. You got to fight for, you know what I mean? White supremacy, not trying to knock you knock you off. Because, man, look, they cleared them streets out, man. And it looked like Gotham City out there. That's not to say they won't, try, they won't start trying to lightweight push these little militia groups out here. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. <clears throat> so don't so don't 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 think that that shit won't happen okay don't think it won't happen all right so let me let me move on to the next thing the next thing i want to talk about man right quick is all these ceos why are all these goddamn ceos then left all these companies man what's up with that shit what's up with that what's up with that shit yo <clears throat> What's up with that, man? All these CEOs then dipped out, man. I put up, I put something on my page on the amount of CEOs that left. Oh shit! I almost lit my shit on fire. All these CEOs that have left, you understand what I'm saying? And look at, look at all these CEOs that's gone, man. Look at them. Look at them. They, they. I don't know if they might have. Uh, you know, I don't know how many people can actually see that on my page. And I may try to reshare it later on. But look at how many CEOs ain't there no more, man. 
it's a lot of CEOs that's gone, man. I mean, damn, even the CEO of Disney. <clears throat> now, mind you, most of these see, uh, majority of these CEOs that you that you see that have stepped down, um, I'm I'm gonna say that they're probably racist. Okay, I'm gonna say they probably don't really like black people. They might not really even like humanity at all. But I gotta give a shout out to the comedian Cat Williams. I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to Cat Williams. This is, <coughs> this is why they they fuck with Cat Williams. They always mess with him. And one of his stand ups, man, and one of his stand up comedy shows, he he stated in there that these people that had money were getting ready to go to Mars. Now, a lot of people would laugh at that and be like, he's just, you know, crazy, blah, blah, blah. But, yo, yeah, some people saying they they going underground. I mean, they have underground bunkers. You understand what I'm saying? They have underground caves. They have caves right now, man. They have a whole bunch of shit. And I'm not to say that these motherfuckers ain't going to try to go to Mars. I believe they are. I believe they're going to go to Mars. I believe they already been there. You understand what I'm saying? I believe they already been there. But these motherfuckers stepping down, yo, that's some heavy shit, B. That's some heavy shit. It's going, yo, it is going down, man. <clears throat> now, why would all these people step away if they if they don't, you know, and I, apparently they pulled their stocks out too, and I don't, they have not gotten in trouble for none of this shit. All right? Nobody has made a big deal about this shit. So where are they going, man? Where are they going? Uh, what up, though? Hey, Katina Jordan. I mean, you know, Katina Jordan, Carol Thompson, Kishmael Crowley, Nate Robinson, Shelly Donaldson, Corey Covington, all these people, man. What up? You, Yusa Andrews? That is a unique first name. You Is it Yusa? Oh, Yusa. E -E -E Yusa. I don't know if she's still in here. You, you saw Andrews, uh, Brandon Cox, Chandra Mackey, all these people, man. Appreciate coming in. N Natasha, I appreciate all y'all. Chanel Bauer, I appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate all y'all coming in, checking in with your boy. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, like I was saying, man, I don't know where these people have gone, but you know what I'm saying. We 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 need to we need to make sure we, that we on point out here. <clears throat> we need to make sure that like at some point, if this shit's gonna force us to all kind of come together, especially black people, and get our shit right. And that's another thing. That's all that they showing on here on, on Netflix. All this shit is apocalyptic movies, man. That's all they showing, man. That's all they showing. Apocalyptic movies, and but they ain't showing that they ain't showing that purge though. They ain't got they that purge, that purge, that last purge ain't on there though. That's that was, they ain't they making sure to not show that on there. You know what I'm saying? But that's gonna come next. Watch what I tell you. Cause on in that movie, I'm trying to tell you, man. In that movie, man, black people were just ready to party, and that's all we've been kind of doing, especially on this internet, man. It's partying, partying, partying. You understand what I'm saying? We 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 we. We partying on the net. You understand? We, we internet partying. Digital. What's it called? Digital. Digitally partying. That's where we at right now. We can't go to the club. So we bring the club to the goddamn phone and homes and shit. This shit crazy, B. <clears throat> but the CEO thing, <clears throat> I, I don't know, man. I, I need... <clears throat> <clears throat> like people, we gotta care just a little bit more. Actually, we gotta care about a lot more. But goddamn, these CEOs is dipping, nigga. What does that mean? That means something. All right. And the last thing, the last thing, the last thing I wanna talk about right now is the Madam C.J. Walker movie on Netflix, man. And you know what? I'm gonna be 100% honest. I ain't even watched the shit. I seen maybe the first 20 minutes of it. I seen the first 20 minutes of this Madam C.J. Walker movie.
But you know what I like to do, man. What I like to do, cause it's a, it's like a six part series, right? So when it comes to like movies and when it comes to stuff like this, they put on, especially when it has to do with the black community. Yeah, Carol. Yep, yeah. contagion outbreak. Um. <laughs> Uh, contagion outbreak um, it's a bunch of them it's a bunch of them but this Madam CJ Walker building or building this Madam CJ Walker there's a Madam CJ Walker building in Indianapolis that's why I said that but the Madam CJ Walker story they got on Netflix man like I said I have not seen it all I've seen maybe the first 20 to 30 minutes of it man and I'm going to be honest with you, like anything else they put on this TV, especially when it comes to black people, I make sure to do my research because they always give you the synopsis. They always give you <coughs> something about the, 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 the movie. They give you either criticism <coughs> <coughs> Oh shit <laughs> Or they give you something Before you watch the movie And I'm gonna be honest When I when I, when I I read this article man And I shared it I shared it on my I shared it on my page Appreciate everybody right now man Is it K Kelly Reed and Sheila Barksdale Aisha Patterson What up though But this When I looked at the information About this movie man <clears throat> about Madam C.J. Walker because <clears throat> I can't lie I was excited man I was happy <clears throat> when I when I even heard that they were even going to come out with a movie about me, Madam C.J. Walker because I knew about her because she has a building in Indianapolis like I said she has a theater you know what I mean she has a theater in the city and she made she made you know what I'm saying she made her money a, a good portion of her money in, in Indianapolis and I believe Tennessee. So <clears throat> I read this article about the movie. The movie is not factually at all. It, it is not factually based at all. This movie is based upon a book, I believe. Some female, uh, some uh, lady wrote, man. I can't even know the lady's name. All right. But the thing is, is that, you know what I'm saying? This this information that they put out about Madam C.J. Walker in this movie, it has some. It's, it's bigger than what's going on. It, it's some type of an agenda, man. It, it, it's in plain sight. All right. So when I'm reading about what they, what they got in this movie, man, they got it to where Madam C.J. Walker... You know, uh, they they said that you know that she was a lesbian, but there's no there's no factual proof that she was a lesbian. But she was married three times. You understand what I'm saying? Um. And then in in in, in the movie, they make it seem like you know what I'm saying her 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 husband, I believe it was her first husband. That you know what I'm saying like their relationship wasn't really where it was and, and he was a business partner with her you understand what i'm saying i mean in this movie man they really they they put in in an, in an agenda of like how they've been doing these other movies man the black man the black man is toxic um there's some type of uh liberation that uh, the woman is having through being uh, with the same sex um, you gotta understand, man. Madam C.J. Walker, she she gave she gave money to people's tuitions that went to school at Tuskegee. She was someone that was a part of the anti anti lynching movement. You understand what I'm saying? Madam C.J. Walker donated her money to causes and people that were out here. Man, she was a millionaire. They even try to put it in this movie that she jacked the whole. Like she plagiarized and stole the whole the whole product that she but see Madam CJ Walker was doing more than just hair products, man. You understand what I'm saying? 
Madam C.J. Walker was some was a, a, a pioneer, man. Madam C.J. Walker was a legend. This was all in the in, after post slavery. <clears throat> you understand? She she died in like 1922 or something. You understand what I'm saying? She was a pioneer. This was straight after slavery. And they got their and, and I don't know, man. They got her looking like I don't know. But I know that they have a whole, you right, Carol, a whole agenda. And they used Madam CJ Walker. And I've seen a lot of, seen some people on the, on the social media saying it was, it's a good movie and it's putting on for the city. And, but they got Tiffany Haddish in there doing all types of, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, <clears throat> they have a real agenda going on with the black, with the black community, man. They do. They, they trying to sway us to go in a different direction and they're using imagery and it's bullshit you understand what i'm saying straight bullshit so i'm not gonna i don't even know if i'm gonna watch this movie like if i watch it i'm just gonna watch it to see how much they put my home city in it but outside of that man i'm not gonna be watching it for no you know historical you know game influence you know, for the for the culture, like this movie, this movie on Netflix ain't for the culture, man. It ain't for the culture. They got Madam C J Walker out here looking crazy, and yeah, that's not her real name. Madam C J Walker, Madam C J Walker is not her real name. You know what I'm saying? But still, it don't matter. You know what I mean? She is a pioneer. She has a theater in Indianapolis. You understand what I'm saying? She did not have any kids biologically, but she has. Nieces and nephews that are still out here right now. What up, Simone? These are out here. That She has people out here right now. She has people out here right now that's still in her lineage. You know? And I hope they sue. I hope they sue for this shit. I hope they sue these people, man. I hope they sue whoever did this goddamn movie. Whoever wrote that bullshit story about Madam C.J. Walker. I hope the family sues the fuck out of them. I hope they do, man. I hope they sue the fuck out of them, man. Because I'm trying to tell you, man. Just just from reading reading the shit, man. They put so much lies. You don't know what's Hollywood and what's honest and truthful in the goddamn movie. See, I have to know these things before I watch it. Because if I watch it and don't really know or understand. Then it's like I go back and find out. And it's like I, I, wasted, I wasted time. You understand what I'm saying? When if I watch something like that on Netflix, I'm going to be watching it for the shits and giggles. I'm going to be watching, like, I haven't seen the Harriet Tubman movie. I have not done that. I haven't done it. There's no historical shit really in that either. Hit the like button, man. Hit the like button. Share this shit. Got Madam C.J. Walker crazy out here, man. So, you know what I'm saying? This is what's been happening with me for the past few days. This is what I've been observing. Um, please make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your people out here. Um, if you don't believe me about the Madam C.J. Walker thing, man, look it up. I got I, It should be on my page. If they haven't taken it off, I'll probably reshare it again. Oprah. Yeah, well, with Oprah, man, you know, black people, you know, black people are, you know, we, we further, we, we, definitely moving further away from Oprah and Gail because they tripping and they trying to cape out here for Zaddy man they and, and, and they doing this shit right in front of black people man we ain't, we ain't fucking with that shit no more they gonna probably make her story look like the greatest ever you know they will alright man well that's all I got you know what I'm saying I appreciate those that came in and chopped it up with your boy right quick you know, I try to just kind of do these and kind of be done. I and mean, I ain't really trying to be on here for like an hour, even though I, I can be long winded. So I don't know what time I even started. But I know I've been on here for a minute. So appreciate those that came in here, though, man. Check your boy out. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to try to see what's up on the gram, man. I'm trying to go live more on the gram. But I'm going to have to do that more inside the crib. Because when I'm outside, they ain't letting shit ride. I can be outside right now, try to go live on the gram, and it's gonna just keep moving and moving and be like, uh, your inner, your connection, and my, and my connection is not trash. My connection is eighty one thousand. So, 
I think the gram just they just ain't trying to show no love, man. So I'm I'm gonna try to go more from the gram though, probably inside the crib. But you know, like I said, man, appreciate those that 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 fuck with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Go back and listen to this if you if you just now coming in right now. You know what I mean? But check your boy out. All social media platforms, man. J Scott Experience or comedian J Scott. Just type it in, man. My shit will come up. And you know what I mean? Just keep it moving. Keep it pushing out here, man. Um, holla at your boy. Stay cautious. Stay moving out here. And, um, yeah, that's about it, man. Keep your head on the swivel, nigga. Keep your head on the motherfucking swivel, nigga. All right. All right, man. Peace.